Hi everyone, I'm Caleb. In this video, I'll be giving you a story time to where I was stopped and nearly detained at Melbourne Airport. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications for more. This story time is going to be a great one. Let's get started. So guys, so this was all the way back in 2017. We were in Melbourne for VidCon, Mum, Zach and I. We finished the Sunday, it was a great convention. Mike was scheduled to leave at about 5.30 p.m. You also need to get to the airport approximately two hours prior to your departure so you can check in and security and all that and catch a cab. So as we were driving to the airport in the cab, we got an email. We just received an email that due to engineering maintenance, the flight has been cancelled. got a new flight book, five hour wait. So I had my luggage bag, and then my carry-on bag. So we pretty much went to the check-in desk, done all that, signed all the documents, all that. I put my luggage bag in through, you know, the conveyor belt to send that through to go under the plane. And I had my carry-on bag with me. And that was the bag with all of my camera gear, had some water, had a few snacks. So we go through security. Mum and Zach gets through security, fine, I go there. Security guy like, looks at me, goes, hey, they make this bag on the tray. The bag was scanned through an x-ray machine. All that was going to collect my bag. Got the bag, picked up the bag, ready to walk. And then uh, the security goes, mate, come in. Give me the finger, like, come in. I'm like, oh, my trouble, what did I do? Like, here's the thing, I wasn't even vlogging at this point. Actually, sorry, I did have my phone with me and my gorilla pod, but that wasn't recording at the time. So he pulls me over and he was asking me all these questions, you know, what are you doing in Melbourne? Why are you in Melbourne? Why are you going back to Sydney? All this usual stuff. Then I go, look, I'm a YouTuber. I was here at an online convention called VidCon. I just pretty much explained to him why I was in Melbourne. But have to do a search on you, mate. The guy right, then search my body. He goes, nah, mate. Regularly search her back. Anyway, so the guy frisks me again, he pats me down again, he literally asks me, you got any knives or anything illegal on you? And I'm like, nah mate, I, th I don't do any of that. So then he goes to me, I'm gonna need you to get everything out of that bag and put it on that desk. I'm like, it's just camera gear mate, but alright. Anyway, so I, I get all the objects, I put it out on the bag, I put it out on this table that he had there. Anyway, so I put everything out. One thing I never knew, like, because the security, they, they never stated to me that I was detained. All they literally said to me is, we're doing sort of a random search on you. Um, they, they, like, they, they never stated that I was detained. I didn't want to ask them because if I would have asked them, that could have then led to more serious consequences. So I'm like, no, I'm just going to leave it, do what they say. I get, it. I get everything on this table, lay it out. I pretty much had this microphone. The microphone's called the Rode Video Mic Me. It's pretty much a little microphone, only about this big, that plugs into your phone in order to get crystal clear audio. One thing that alerted them for their suspicions is the windshield. He goes, all right, then what's this? Because I assume that they had the assumption that that was some kind of a bomb or some kind of a, some kind of a, a device that will cause harm. And I'm like, look, mate, I don't have any bombs around here, first of all. Number two is that... I explained to the other guy, I'm a YouTuber, called a backup. Now this guy, <laughs> this guy literally called a backup. This was coincidental though, because the officers that like a back, that came for the backup, one of them was pretty familiar with the YouTube and with the, with the vloggers. I think the bloke followed some vloggers himself, so, so he was able to sort of tell the other guys a bit about what I was doing. So, so that was coincidental that that happened, but. They still weren't convinced, but they told me I literally, no joke, I literally had to give them a demonstration on how to use everything. They're given these, these, there was about five security around me at this point. I'm there, giving them full demonstration. Here's how it works, mate. I showed them my YouTube channel. Like, look here, you know, you know, look, here's Caleb Templeman, mate. Take a look, right? I was showing them the YouTube channel. Showed them all the VidCon content because we were uploading daily back then. One of them goes, oh, mate, but why are you going back to Sydney? And now I'm like, well, look at the vlogs, mate. I'm in Wollongong. Going, going back home. Why else do you think I'm going to melt? Going, going to Sydney. They asked me a few questions, you know, just some basic stuff. They never actually asked for any ID. I didn't think it got to that point. Um, they didn't ask for an ID. It, it will, it will be different. I think it's because too that, for the fact that I explained myself, I explained how everything worked, how the microphone worked. However, then, I think that's why they didn't really ask for any identification because 
once I explained it to them, I think their suspicion sort of went down a bit. I knew what I was talking about, and they uh, they had less suspicion that it was a bomb, but but they still did actuate it a few times. So at the end of the day, you really need to be cautious with like with the gear and all of that. And as well, because it was a carry-on, I might have overpacked a bit. Only I, I really only needed to take on what I needed, even though I needed all of that. Some of it could have went under the luggage, but I wouldn't say it was scary, but it was just surprising with the... And then again, like, no hate on the security. I, I'm like, for like, yeah. some reason to them, I was looking suspicious. And for all they know, I could have went to the airport to do harm. Like, how are they going to know? They're not going to know whatsoever. It, it was just a random... It, it, like, they do it all the time. I was at the airport a few years ago with some family members. They were all stopped. And I was fear to go. It is random, but it's like I wanted to tell you guys this story. That, that is about it for this video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications for more. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.